everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna play with all my shim reverbs. I was going through all my pedals earlier this week, and I realized just how many shim reverbs I have. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to shoot them all out, have some fun playing with every single one of them, and then put them all together in the same signal path to see what happens when you stack shim reverbs. So let's get started. I'm gonna use my Ampro 2 Jazzmaster and of course, my two Princetons rig. <laughs> the two Princetons are gonna come in handy when I combine all these pedals together into a massive, ridiculous stereo signal path at the end of this video. Anyways, here is my clean signal. All right, and here is the Oceans 11 by Electroharmonics. This is a pedal that I still recommend as one of the most affordable surfy drips you can find. I am on the spring setting. Yeah, I haven't found a reverb pedal cheaper than this that I recommend as a surfy pedal. But it does have a shimmer setting. It has a lot of settings. It is a multi-reverb. And this and the Canyons, they came out around the same time. Fantastic pedals by Electro Harmonics. But anyways, here's that shimmer reverb. So pretty. Let's max it all the way out. Nice. It's like soundscaping. I feel like I'm venturing into some sort of like John Williams, Steven Spielberg, creepy kid movie soundtrack. Like it sounds innocent, but, but dark. Mm, what is that? Thank you. 
Most of the settings on here have extra modes if you hold down that mode switch. The shim reverb does not. I wish it did. I wish it gave an option to shift in between that high octave shimmer and a low octave shimmer, but it just doesn't. You can roll back the tone to have it be a bit less grating. There is the poly reverb setting on here. But that's a different thing. Yeah, the Ocean's Eleven is a great start. Great start to this video. I'm glad I went with that first. What next? Here is an affordable shim reverb. And I remember liking this quite a bit. I remember being very impressed with it. I haven't touched it since I first filmed it. So maybe I'll have a different opinion now after coming off the Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> Infinite Decay. That's wild. Infinite reverb there. Or close to it. Even with the shimmer knob pulled all the way back, it still has a really nice, pretty modulated reverb sound. It sounds a bit more digital than the Ocean's Eleven, even though the Ocean's Eleven is a digital sounding pedal because it is a digital pedal. I mean, you're not gonna find a shim reverb that doesn't sound digital. I don't think they're all digital, right? But it has a bit of that like low fidelity digital sound on the high end of it. You know what I mean? That's gonna be my riff in this video. I forget what this costs, but I wanna guess it was like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. 
If you're Shimmer Reverb curious, this might be a really, really good place to start. I think it sounds pretty. It sounds really pretty to me. Next up is The Slow by Walrus Audio. This doesn't have a traditional shimmer in that the shimmer isn't a high octave, it's a low octave shimmer, which is still really pretty. And it's got all kinds of extra options built in, all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this pedal. Might as well do the next walrus pedal. The R1. This is one of the stereo pedals. Highly programmable, MIDI stuff, presets, all that jazz, multiple different sounds here, multiple different ways to, to tweak every single different sound. But we're just gonna focus on the air setting. This is more of like a pretty chorusy choir of angels version of a shimmer. It's not just a, you know, hit you over the head, high octave sort of shim. I'm keeping the mix on all these pretty, pretty high up. Most people are not gonna do that because you're gonna treat this probably as mostly an always on sort of effect or as a more every now and then sort of effect that kind of highlights a pretty sound when you're doing little swells and stuff. Most people are probably gonna pull that mix back pretty far on all of these, but I wanna show off, you know, the full depth of what they do. Not the full depth, but the full mix of what they do. a lot more subtle, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty. Really fun thing on this is it has a swell knob. I've had it all the way down, but you turn it up and it does kind of like a slow gear sort of thing with your reverb. You can also apply a pre-delay with the tweak knob here for even more of that. point is beautiful. Let's do another cheapie. This is the Moor Mower A7. Has a bunch of different settings. You can see what they're called on the side. Plate, haul, warp, shake, crush, shimmer, and dream. I forget what dream does. I should probably check that out real quick. But here is the shimmer setting. That's a different sound than the others so far. Has this like fantasy, like crystal cavern sort of thing going on. Wrong note. A bit of a lo-fi, very digital, kind of like 80s keyboard sort of sound to that. Let's check out, what was it, Fantasy? Dream. Dream is what it was called.
it has a very lo-fi, low bitrate digital sort of sound going on, but there's no reason why someone couldn't use that creatively in a recording, in a live set, in any sort of music. Like it has a very interesting quality to it. What do you guys think of that? I thought that, dr I thought that dream setting sounded better than the shim setting. And it's kind of doing a similar thing. It's a, it's a Noctavi kind of modulated sort of thing. All right, a classic, a stereo pedal as well. So this will become part of the stereo path, I'm sure. The Line 6 Verbzilla. I bought this because I wanted to explore that old school 63 spring setting that they have on here after trying it at JHS when I was out there. other spring setting. But the star of the show is the octo setting, which is probably the shimmer reverb that got a lot of people my age started on shimmer reverb. Like I didn't have one of these. I didn't mess around with, with one of these uh, back in the day when they came out, but I saw a lot of people on the internet talking about these kind of devotees of that octo setting. Honestly, kind of <laughs> reminds me of the Moor. Kind of a very high frequency focused, high octave shimmer with a, a lot of like digital grit to it. A crystal cavern fantasy sort of sound. I think obviously people can still use this creatively, but it is not engaging me in a way that feels compelling. You know, I don't feel in incredibly excited about the Verbzilla's Octa setting at this point in Shim Reverb history. Here's a more recent one, probably the newest one out of all these. Yeah, definitely the newest one. I think I. Did the demo for the launch of this like six months ago? Maybe sooner? I can't remember. But anyways, the Catalan Bread Cloak. It's got four controls, mix, uh, room size, high cut, and of course, shimmer.
I'm probably the wrong guy to be doing this video, huh? I'm too, like, high-strung and hyper and upbeat for Shimmer Reverb. You need someone that's a little bit more, like, subdued and whispery. Like, All right, guys, here we go. Here's the cattle and bread cloak. things that I just played. A lot like the Wonderland, you can dial the shimmer all the way out on this. It gives you a really nice, moody, slightly modulated, like, hall reverb. probably make use of the blue screen behind me in this video. Have I been doing that? If not, shame on me. I should be putting like my transcendental like calming scenes behind me while I'm playing. It's extra work, but I should do it. Next up is a bit of an oddball when it comes to shimmer reverbs because it does shimmer reverb in a completely unique way. And I have it set up to do a very unique thing that I haven't encountered in any other Shimmer reverb. I've got the Chase Bliss Audio Dark World reverb here, which has two sides to it. You have Shimmer and modulated reverbs on this side, and you have traditional spring plate hall reverbs on this side, and you can mix them together in parallel, one before the other, the other before the other, and you can do all the crazy stuff you can do with Chase with pedals, with the dip switches up there, and all the programming, and presets, and MIDI, and expression. It is, it is absolutely ridiculous, but the setting I tend to use the most on here is this, both of these together, and what's going on is the octave for 
that shimmer reverb is ramping back and forth. And there's something very different and special about the, uh, the shimmer reverb that I'll show off in a bit after I show off, you know, what it sounds like on my preset here. <laughs> shimmer octave shifting from a low octave to that high octave. I don't even have it all the way extreme. That shows the, the, like, the limit to the low end. I'll pull it all the way back so you can hear the full range of low octave to high octave. <laughs> And on this setting, the decay ramp knob controls the speed of how fast it's going back and forth. So right now I have that shimmer sound stacking into a plate sound. We'll pull off the plate. If you listen to that, what's happening is it's not a normal reverb trail. It's playing a sample of what you played smeared out as a reverb and then it switches it in reverse and plays it in reverse and it goes back and forth that way. So this thing is going back and forth between a front ways reverb, a re reverse reverb, a high pitch shim reverb and a low pitch shim reverb and they're all mixing together in this really unique and pretty and spooky way. It sounds like something from like a Poltergeist movie. <laughs> I'm going to pull off that bounce functionality there so it's not shifting between the high and the low anymore and I have full control of the native uh, kind of controls here. Spooky? It, it totally sounds like something from Poltergeist. If you want to talk to ghosts, this is the reverb for you. the mix all the way up. Extremely unique shimmer reverb. 
Then we'll stack it with that plate again. Some of these are beautiful and some of these are scary and that's a scary sounding one, but in a beautiful way. Now this is the boss you have to fight at the end of the Shim Reverb level. <laughs> this is the Earthquaker Devices Astral Destiny. If, if you love Shimmer Reverb, you've probably already bought this because this is the end of the line in a lot of ways. For a standalone Shimmer Reverb pedal, it has a ton of options, it has presets, it has a bunch of different Shimmer Reverb settings, it's got depth and rate for modulation and stuff, tone and mix and length, and this stretch foot switch here. It does some wild stuff. If you like making really wild sounds, this is the Shimmer Reverb for you. Let's put it on the normal Shimmer setting to start off. I want to hit some dirt with that. I've got the woodcutter on the floor. Do not tell me that's not a good time. That is a good time right there. That couple of seconds right there, that just sold this pedal. A couple of you just bought that pedal because of that. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. So let's go through a couple of the other settings here. Here is Abyss. This is sub, so in sub octave.
sub shimmer. This is that sub octave plus the shimmer. This is called Astral. Ascend. Now we start getting into some freaky ones that I'm not sure how I would ever use them. Descend. Now if you pull back the mix, these could have a really fun kind of like chorusing sort of feel. Bring in that modulation. Cosmos. All right, let's run them all at the same time. How the heck am I even gonna do this? This is my job, guys. This is what I get to do for a living for some reason. I'm, I'm as baffled as anyone else why this gets to be what I do to make money. <laughs> to pay the bills, to support my family. I had a little bit of troubleshooting there. I realized that like a whole side of the mix was just gone and I couldn't figure out why. When the mix knob is all the way up on the cloak, even when it's bypassed, it cuts the signal. So I had to do some troubleshooting to figure that out. Anyways, let's get started. What we have here is uh, the guitar is feeding into the Astral Destiny, which is splitting off of the R1, going through those three pedals into the Verbzilla, going into those three pedals into the Verbzilla. 
And remarkably, there's still signal left. Actually sounds pretty good. All right, let's get started with the Astral Destiny. That should be illegal. That's, that's something else. All you need is nine shimmer reverb pedals. <laughs> Technically this is two. So 10 reverb pedals to steal that sound. Let's do a, a wet dry mix thing. There's only gonna be shimmer on one side now, but it's only four reverbs on one side.
That is ridiculous. I'm going to have to leave this set up for a day just to come back in here and have fun. That it is like full sonic stereo baptism in here. Like if, if you introduce this sound into, you know, like a public space, you would start a cult. Like people would build, you know, a, a, a series of formal religious ideas around what they were experiencing while listening to that. Jeez Louise. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I have a lot to process now because that, that just sounded amazing. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded. I would click all the links. If you're going to buy any of these or something else, use my links down below because that helps me make a living. This video is completely unsponsored otherwise, so affiliate links definitely help me in that direction. All right. Bye everyone, stay grounded.